know that people love the Dollar Tree. And I also know that sometimes it can feel like you go in and you just wanna get some food, but nothing there is that high quality. At least that's what it feels like sometimes. I think you're just getting like cheap cookies and, and ramen and macaroni and cheese, and that's about it. While you can find those things at the Dollar Tree, I took it upon myself to see if I could find more of a gourmet dinner that I could make from the Dollar Tree, only using ingredients from there, like not substituting anything from any other store. This particular recipe, well, it's not really a recipe yet because we're experimenting today. <laughs> this particular meal is based on what I found at my Dollar Tree. I do have frozen food at mine, which is weird because I have a smaller store. I've been to way bigger stores that have removed the refrigerated sections. I don't really know what that's about, but it all started when I saw this, these cheese raviolis. It's almost a pound, and I thought, what an interesting thing to find at the Dollar Tree, cheese ravioli, that could be super yummy. And here's the thing about ravioli. If you're gonna just serve ravioli with sauce, you need a lot of it. And what I know for sure about stretching meals is that soup is a great way to do it. So it occurred to me that I could make a play on like a ravioli, spicy, soup, so I kind of wandered around to see what else I could find. And I found this, listen, this is not the best quality sausage, it's basically a big hot dog, but hot smoked sausage on clearance even for 50 cents. So this is gonna be our spicy sausage. So we're gonna do a spicy sausage, what, what? Spicy sausage cheese ravioli soup from the Dollar Tree. Hold on to your hats. Let's see if we can make something good. <laughs> Because I don't really have anything fresh, I don't need to saute anything at the bottom of my soup pot. So I have 12 cups of water. My chicken powdered bouillon items also got these from Dollar Tree and we're gonna sprinkle these in as well. And once it gets going, I can add my veggies and my sausage. My chicken bouillon is in and I'm gonna add both cans of this Hunt's Fire Roasted Diced Tomatoes. Hopefully these are gonna be good. Gonna give it some tomato flavor. We will see how fire roasted -y these taste. Here's what I'll say. These tomatoes feel very tomato-y. Yes, I realize that sounds dumb, but I mean, there's not a lot of other flavor in there, if that makes sense. I may need to add a little bit of sugar to cut the acidity of these. We'll kind of see how it goes, but for now, I am gonna add this whole bag of the stir-fried peppers and onions. I'm not gonna do anything to it except for dump it in. There we go. I didn't even chop them small. I just can't be bothered today. I did dice up my hot smoked sausage, not hot dogs. Those will go in. And I do feel like I will need to add like Italian seasoning or something here. Oh, there's an ingredient I forgot to mention. Let me go grab that. This is an important ingredient because this is actual Parmesan cheese. It's Parmesan cheese, salt, powdered cellulose. Sir, excuse me, excuse me, sir. Trying to record a video? My point is you can find real Parmesan cheese at Dollar Tree that is actual Parmesan cheese and not that cheese-like product. It's a way smaller container, but this is gonna go a long way in flavoring my soup. I forgot to mention that before. It was definitely like these two items that kicked off the idea on what we're doing today. I'm still kind of waiting for this to come to a boil, so I'm gonna let this come up, simmer together, and then we'll just kind of taste it and see where we're at. This is starting to smell good, but I have a concern because it's starting to smell a little Cajun in nature, <laughs> not Italian. So to fix that, I'm going to be using some pantry items. I have this Italian seasoning and some crushed red pepper flakes, which I will be adding right now, along with my broccoli cut, because the cuts take a little bit longer to cook. And fingers crossed, the flavor profile changes a little bit. I do have a video on basic pantry staples, like things like this, for only $20 from Dollar Tree. So I'll leave that video down below. I think there's some good information there. So let's left-handed, oh, is that too much? No such thing healthy pinch of the crushed red pepper flakes. That's probably half a teaspoon. And hopefully we move in the right direction as far as flavor goes. And broccoli is going in. There we go. Once a long, long time ago, I made homemade ravioli. It's been many a year. The homemade ravioli is so delicious and really time consuming. I'm hoping this will be as tasty as homemade, but I don't know that it will be. I'm still keeping my fingers crossed. But now I'm adding in my ravioli. It doesn't take very long at all. Basically, it's a full boil, put it in, it takes a few minutes. Once this pasta is in, hold that lighting though. I'm gonna try and taste the broth and kind of see where we're at on flavor and salt and all that jazz. All that jazz. 
Here's a couple of things I wanted to do. I definitely wanted to add this cheese. So I think I'm gonna add the cheese, uh, quite a bit of it. And I got the milk because I wanted it to be more of a creamy sauce, which I was gonna do with heavy whipping cream, but they didn't have any in the refrigerated section. So I just have shelf stable whole milk. Is that gonna work? I don't know. I'm just gonna taste it with this and see where we're at. A good generous, that's like a quarter cup probably. We'll stir that in, which kind of gives it a creamy, consistency. That's what's sketchy about Dollar Tree. All their cheese dairy products are super iffy. The shelf stable milk is legit, but all the refrigerated ones, most of them are like, mm. oh, it's spicy. It's actually really good. I'm gonna add all of this. So that's gonna be, I'd say half a cup of Parmesan cheese into that. So that's gonna take care of my salt levels. I do feel like it needs to be a touch thicker. What I'm gonna do is mix up some fat and flour, add the milk to make a sauce, a white sauce, and then put it in here. I'm just gonna do that super, super quick. It's gonna be almost nothing by the time I'm done. These raviolis will be cooked, hopefully. I have butter, oil, bacon fat. It kind of doesn't matter. So like two tablespoons of fat, two tablespoons of flour, cook, 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 melt like a cup of milk and boom, white sauce and they'll put that in and they'll be ready. We'll be about ready to eat. Hopefully the family likes it. it. Actually tastes good. Like it tastes good. I just want it to be a touch thicker. Here comes my white sauce. You can see it's kind of thick right here. In it goes. Hopefully that thickens it up nicely and I think we are ready to serve after I stir this around a little. Look how big those are. That's hilarious. Dinner is served. I would say this feeds easily eight people, even if you eat a lot. And of course, like any meal, if you feel like this isn't enough, add a salad, add some bread to the side, like some nice crusty no need bread. I conveniently have a recipe for that in an entire video. I'll leave that below as well. If you wanna beef it up just a little bit more. Now remember, this is not the way I would originally have made this recipe as I was trying to do things from the Dollar Tree and I was limited to mostly what they have. I would have liked more ravioli, some different veggies, <laughs> maybe some heavy whipping cream, but alas, here we are. I'm gonna call the troops in, feed it to everybody, and I'm gonna show you what they say in three, two, one. The crowd has spoken. As it turns out, Haley doesn't like ravioli in any of its forms. It's not my favorite, I'll still eat it. Okay, children, pipe in. The ravioli is pretty good. Good? Me too. I like the soup. The ravioli, I don't know what to think of it. You don't like the Dollar Tree ravioli, that's what you're saying. But the rest of it was fine. Yeah. You're saying if I had substituted the ravioli for just pasta, it would have been better? Just pasta? Yes, okay. I, I think so, Okay. as well. But the soup was okay. Yeah. So what I'm hearing you say is don't buy the Dollar Tree ravioli. <laughs> okay. But we like it. Do you like it, Tyler? Uh, yeah, I liked it. I have had better Pasta before. Okay, Ryan's a big fan and no one else is. Okay. I think it's You've heard it here first. Do not buy the Dollar Tree ravioli. Make the soup with regular pasta instead. But it is possible to make quite a large meal with Dollar Tree ingredients, I guess. Italian <coughs> pasta soup type thing. Thanks for joining us today in this experiment. And I'll see you in the next video. But I'm not done yet. We have some snacks to taste test and I have Andrew and Tyler with me today to try out these snacks. So this was sent by Robin, who has been commenting on my videos for a long time. Thank you so much for this awesome box, is what she says. A new Asian market just came to my area and I thought your family might enjoy trying out a few things. So let's try out a few things. Let's. Asian yeah. snack box. So this is on top and I like it because it looks chocolate. And since I can't speak any of these languages that are written on here, I'm just gonna guess at what these items are. So this looks like a strawberry chocolate situation. <laughs> Is it childproof? Mom, there's an open right there. Where? Oh, you are brilliant. <laughs> oh, smell it, smell it. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, that wow. Good. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, look, they're so cute. They come in little things. Those are pretty good. I like them. It's The new. inside is pink. Oh. Does it taste like strawberry to you? A little. And not bad. No, it's not bad. It tastes like good. artificial strawberry, but it's still really good. Yeah, yeah, it's like artificial. Yuzu gummy candy. Fruity and soft. Oh, it's a little gummy. It's a little squishy gummy? What's yuzu? What's yuzu? Is it like an orange? It looks like an orange on it's the stick. definitely not an orange. No. No? I have no idea what that is. It doesn't taste like a lightly sweetened lemon. Maybe. I it don't tastes think. citrusy to me. Look at the picture. It is. 
The picture looks like a lemon. It's super mild. Yeah, it's not like American lemonade where it's like, pow. I like it. That one's a win for me. Would you, um, would you eat it again? I yes. would eat it again. Okay. Sweet potato shaped snacks, but it doesn't say they taste like sweet potato. And there's so much air in that bag. If they're not selling air, I don't know what they're selling. No, they smell like sweet potato. Oh, oh. Yeah, Andrew's not gonna like that. They look so weird. That doesn't look like a sweet potato. <laughs> I like that. Those are pretty good. I like it. Yeah, yeah, me too. I, I like, I weirdly like it. They don't taste like sweet potato, even a little. I like those. I like that one. Yeah, it's win. very crunchy. I'm gonna finish that one later. Mango mochi. Mochis are good, that's what Haley says. And I like mangoes. Oh, well, no, only two. Do you need help? I can usually open those by that. Flip it over. Okay, sometimes that does work on some packages. Yeah. What's the matter with these snacks? Okay, what do I know about mochi? It's squishy. The texture oh. is like a, a toy, a kid's toy just that is like squishy. Eat it. <laughs> Stop squishing it. The texture is so weird. It's like a marshmallow that's not really a marshmallow. That's it's it. it's weird, it, isn't it? Yeah. Or is it just me? It's weird. No, it's, it's not weird. very sweet. Yeah, it isn't very sweet. Well, that's pretty standard of Asian desserts. They're not usually very sweet. Rice cake cookie. You put cookie on anything and I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, cute. I've been excited for these. To lick my anger. <gasps> oh no. Oh no, get the vacuum. Okay, note to self, you cannot break it on camera. They're kind of like a Fig Newton. Mm-hmm, a little bit. Mm-hmm. I don't know how that's a rice cake. It tastes, it tastes like a Fig Newton to me, except more bouncy. The middle is bouncy. Yeah. We got a vacuum up the floor. <laughs> I have no idea. Crab, marshmallow, candies. They look like pork rinds. Potato starch, rice flour, shrimp, crab, sugar and salt. Weird. Yeah. They do taste like shrimp and crab. I think I like it though. I think I like it too. Now that I'm not expecting it to be candy. It's like crunchy seafood. Yeah, it is. Which is weird. Yeah. Last item for today, these essentially look like sour punch straws in passion fruit flavor. Holla! I love me some sour punch straws. Me as well. There you go. I've never seen passion fruit flavor. I think they're more sour than the ones we have. And they're oh yeah! Oh, oh my gosh! Those are sour. Two thumbs up. Woo! Oh, I like it. Two straws up. Let me tell you what, that was a punch. I'm gonna need a beverage. Thank you, Robin, for the snacks. We really appreciated it. What'd you boys think? Yum, yum. Yeah. What was good. your favorite? Definitely the straw. I liked the straw and the rice Fig Newton thing. I think I like this little gummy candy thing. Those were weird. Thank you, Robin, and thanks for watching. See you later.